In this video, I will talk about what are the role and responsibility of an ER tech. Hi, my name is John. If you don't know, I used to be an EMT working in Los Angeles for 10, 24, and 48 hour shift before I transitioned into the trauma hospital and a psychiatric hospital. So let's jump into the topic. What are the responsibility and role of an ER tech? Assuming you have a phlebotomist license and know how to draw blood, you will help the nurse draw the patient's blood. Now, if you don't have the license and don't know how to do it, you all you're going to be doing is going to help set up and getting the stuff ready for the nurse to draw the patient's blood. EKG. Very much anytime a patient comes into the ER, especially a trauma center, usually the doctor or the nurse will tell you to do an EKG on the patient for any irregular heart um, rhythm or any chest pain. You want, we want to make sure that there's no chest complication. That's why EKG is very important. Most of the time in my hospital, I usually, usually see the ER tech is the one who initiate and um, do the EKG and give the the reading to the doctor or nurse. Another thing that you can be expected to do as an ER tech is uh, clean the wound and bandaging minor injuries. So usually all this uh, stuff, you already know how to do as an EMT. So in the ER, you're probably gonna do a lot of cleaning, uh, bandaging minor wounds. Sometimes you will help the nurse or the doctor with suturing and uh, splinting. So if there's a broken uh, bone, a fracture, something like that, you will help the nurse and the doctor uh, like, care for the wound and then splint them, bandaging, something like that. So as an ER tech, usually you in the ER, you will be assisting. So your role is more assistant. So for example, right, let's say the nurse and the doctor need something, you usually will be there, help set up the equipment, get stuff for them, Patient hygiene. So in the ER, you will be helping the, the nurse with the patient hygiene. So this include uh, dressing, undressing, going to restroom, um, going to number one, number two. If the patient is incontinent, um, you will help change the patient, uh, with, uh, help the patient put on diaper, take off diaper, changing the patient. If the patient show it, uh, show it themselves. Uh, most of the time, there's no CNA in the ER, so usually ER tech will help the nurse with all the CNA stuff. Usually when you go to med search, the floor, the regular unit um, outside the ER, there will be CNA taking care of the, the uh, patient hygiene. But in the ER, usually it's the nurse and the ER tech that take care of taking, uh, undressing the patient. Usually when the patient come into the ER, especially my uh, ER trauma, usually there's blood, so they would take everything up, change the patient into a gown, uh, clean the patient if there's any blood, anything that's uh, unsanitary, they will clean them up, get them ready, stabilize them, and they send them to ICU, CCU, or go to the, up to the floor to med search up to, for overnight supervision. Psych patient. So usually in the ER, beside trauma patient and emergency patient, usually you're gonna see a lot of psych patient coming in for any type any type of uh, mental health illness or emergency. So with this type of patient, um, it's gonna be difficult because sometimes the patient tend to be aggressive. Not always, but if the patient become aggressive, then there will be a sitter. Um, sometimes you will have to resort into restraint Again, with restraint, um, usually ER tech will get trained and there will be a lot of people coming in, assist with the restraining the patient in the ER. But understand that as an ER tech, you probably gonna see a lot of mental health patient in the ER. So eventually you're gonna have to restrain a patient when they do get aggressive and start attacking the nursing staff and stuff like that. So just a warning, no one would like to be restrained and I don't like to restrain patient either, but remember your priority is take care of everyone and sometimes we, we want the patient to be safe. So just use your judgment. 
and just follow the direction of the nurse and the doctor. Another role of ER tech in the ER is to review and help the nurse monitor the patient. So you're gonna be checking the bed alarm, the uh, vitals. Again, most of the time the nurse will be in charge of everything, but you have to remember in the ER, it's gonna be hectic and the nurse usually have two to three. I know some hospital might do four, but that's rare. Most of the time it can be two to three patients in the ER. And let's just say that the, when the patient is crashing or something happened to that patient, then you have the other two, there's no nurse. Usually in this situation, the nurse will ask another nurse to help her her or him to cover that those two patients. Sometimes they will ask the ER tech to say, hey, Nate, I'm busy with this patient right now. Can you help me monitor these two patients? Just all you need to do is make sure the vitals stabilize, any change of condition, behavior, let me know. Depend on the ER, not all ER do this, but depend on certain ER and the city that you live in. Some ER tech can do, can help the nurse do pregnancy tests, urine tests, uh, strep, t uh, strep throat tests, um, what else? A drug test just depend on where you are. I think you could also do creatine tests. Another test that you will be doing in the ER is going to be blood sugar level. So for diabetic patient, you're going to be acute test. Very much you just pick a, a finger and just use a blood pressure, uh, not blood sugar machine to blood glucose machine and measure to make sure that patient is in the stable condition and if the patient need insulin or not. Usually all you do is just pick a finger, get some blood, get machine, put it in, and then they will tell you the measurement and you just let the nurse know. So transport a patient. Usually in a trauma hospital or any high advanced level hospital, there will be a transport team. I have worked in a transport team. I have videos about uh, patient transport care inside a hospital and dispatching for patient transport. But again, remember, this is a hospital, especially in the ER, everything can be hectic. Sometimes there will be delay and some patient cannot be delayed. So therefore, usually the nurse and the ER tech will transport the patient rather than wait for a transporter to come to take the patient to X-ray, CT, or even MI. In the past, um, sometimes I get busy or I have more high priority call that will take more priority over the ER. I will let the nurse know and the nurse will get the ER tech or even the tech from the X-ray or CT will come to the ER, get the patient, help the nurse take the patient to CT, X-ray or MI for a stat procedure because the patient cannot wait. So then in those situations, ER tech will come with the nurse to take the patient to the uh, procedure for an exam and take the patient back. So understand that what, that's going to be one of your responsibility as ER tech, help transport the patient from the ER to get an exam done. Code blue. So code blue in the hospital is that mean uh, the patient heart is stop beating. So in that situation, there will be chest compression, there will be uh, BVM, back uh, valve mass. So it depends on the role on how they assign the role in the ER. As an ER tech, you can be either doing chest compression or you can do PVM, the back in the mass. And while someone else doing chest compression before you get the AED come in and shock the patient. Well, I hope you learned something new from this video. What is your thought on the ER tech job? Comment down below and like and subscribe on this channel. I talk about my life experiences and my journey in healthcare. And hopefully you can learn something from my journey in healthcare. Okay, hope you have a good day. Take care of yourself, believe in yourself, love yourself, and I will see you again on the next video. Bye, take care.